Well, moving on, even if travel remains uncertain, airlines continue to make preparations for the day when aviation and tourism bounce back. For those looking to vacation in Japan, again, always a popular destination, you may get to enjoy travel perks with Singapore Airlines in the process of working out a business tie-in with Japan-based airline All Nippon Airways. And you can now also weigh in on this partnership as Singapore's competition watchdog is gathering public feedback on this proposed joint venture. Well, the Straits Times' associate editor, Ven Srinivasan, is here to shed more light on this. Welcome back to the show, Ven. So why all Nippon Airways out of all the other airlines? Well, actually, it is not just Nippon Airways. I mean, this deal was signed in January 2020, uh, more than a year ago. <clears throat> so literally, this was the last uh, event. And uh, it was the latest in a series of joint ventures that uh, Singapore Airlines signed. For example, Singapore Airlines already has similar arrangements with Lufthansa, uh, SAS of uh, Northern Europe, and it has got an extensive partnership agreement with uh, Virgin Australia as well. So um, it's not particularly unique, uh, but what's caught the attention is it's not done anything in the last 16 months. Um, and this deal was uh, inked in January 2020. Coming up, there's going to be one more uh, deal that's going to be announced. That's with uh, a similar deal with Malaysia Airlines, I believe. I see. Well, um, Ven, according to both airlines, the proposed cooperation, quote, is expected to result in significant consumer and economic benefits and efficiencies. What sort of benefits could travellers see with this tie-up? Well, for one thing, what they would see is a broader choice. You know, for example, you can. Uh, what will happen is that uh, there will be seamless travel. Uh, there will be one airfare for a single destination on either airline. Um, you know, the and uh, greater conveniences because they'll coordinate their schedules. So, flying from Japan into Singapore and then uh, out of Singapore to India, Indonesia, Australia, uh, anywhere in Southeast Asia will be very easy for Japanese travelers. And for Singapore travelers, you can hop onto an ANA flight or a Singapore Airlines flight and get uh, to multiple destinations in Japan. Down the road, uh, I believe they will expand this to ANA's other Pacific uh, destinations as well. For example, maybe down the road, uh, a year down the road, Honolulu could could be back, uh, on, on, you know, on on the on the travel itinerary. So it basically is a it's you know, and then on top of that, you know, business travelers will also share uh, lounge, and then you also get frequent flyer points. Either airline you you travel on, you get the frequent flying points. So essentially, it is almost like flying in a single airline to both destinations. Both airlines work very closely to provide seamless travel, coordinate their schedules. So you fly into Changi, within an hour, you're on a, uh, you're on a Singapore Airlines flight that takes you to wherever you want to go. Uh, say a Japanese traveler wants to go to Bali or Jakarta or whatever. So it's essentially seamless travel, convenient travel. Ben, you mentioned earlier that you know this tie-up with um, ANA is the latest in a series of joint ventures that SIA has with other airlines. Are these kind of business tie-ups the future of SIA and other airlines? Well, basically, they are, they are airlines. Uh, you know, in a post-COVID uh, period now, it's more more important for airlines to improve the efficiency of uh, the use of assets. Things have changed. So what they can do is instead of buying a whole bunch of extra aircraft and uh, getting their balance sheet all hot and heavy, they can actually establish strategic partnerships with each other. So I think this is, uh, and uh, you know, this is the future. The future is about coordinating uh, travel schedules, coordinating frequent flyer. I mean, joining up frequent flyer programs. You know, share revenues um, mm. as uh, ANA and SIA does. So that's the future, uh, actually, going forward. Because the aviation industry has been so badly hit by COVID, you have got to think about how to scale up without necessarily coming out with a lot of money individually.
I see. Well, very good points made there. Thanks so much for that, Vin. That was The Straits Times' associate editor, Vin Srinivasan.